Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. It is Thursday, April 6th. Uh, it's our 5 o'clock update. Little afternoon video here. We do a lot of these during tropical season. I did one yesterday. I know it's only April, but we're talking about the tropics. I'm starting to see some more buzz out there, so at least I'm not the only one. Uh, <laughs> So nothing's really changed today. A little bit from yesterday, the models are shifting a little bit more north uh, part of the Gulf before an eventual northeast turn. Something sloppy, something subtropical-ish maybe. Uh, but I'm going to go over the latest models from today on Thursday. Above my head right here is uh, a, a cold front that's actually going to flatten out. And when they flatten out, sometimes this energy gets down in the Gulf of Mexico on either side atlantic gulf and that's how we get early season systems we get a lot of systems in may it's not uncommon kind of uncommon in april as i mentioned yesterday but i am seeing more chatter about it but let me show you the latest models here um first off this is the official nac graphic remember i'm not an official meteorologist um i make that clear a lot uh, this is a new graphic that will be now seven days this is our normal five day graphic that you're seeing here now uh, uh, this season, though, they're going to seven day. They're going to be looking out seven days. That's when we get these little uh, crayon, like little hatched areas, let's say. Um, this is where they'll be uh, for the season. But right now, there's nothing. So there's nothing officially to worry about. They'll, they'll post it here. Again, on my site, I have it right here uh, if you want to keep up with official information. Let me show you some of the latest graphics here. Uh, these are the latest storm or uh, surface charts. And you can just generally see this stalling out of the front here each day. This little low pressure now officially showing up on uh, Tuesday, kind of lingering uh, the NHC here. This is actually, uh, you know, different from yesterday. Now they're actually showing a little bit of low pressure area here in the upper Gulf, touching Florida, Peninsula, upper Gulf, southeast. And this would be uh, next Wednesday, Thursday. So, yeah, weak low pressure looking possible. Here's the latest Euro. We go to tropicaltidbits.com. Again, you go back to my site. I have them all linked here in the top left. Uh, latest Euro, you know, uh, just to give you an idea, there's our front flattening out over the weekend. There's going to be some rain across the upper Gulf Coast. Again, stretching to the East Coast for this weekend. This front has a little bit of chance now to dip down into the Gulf here. This is all on Sunday, Sunday night. And you're going to see just generally that's what happens. You, you get leftover um, energy in the Gulf or the Atlantic, and this is how early season systems start. Uh, there's going to be a high pressure to the north, kind of help things along. That's how these systems usually work. We don't have any uh, jet stream interaction coming down. We're going to we're going to have pretty much a quiet weather week. It looks like as far as severe storms go, we're actually going to have um, uh, this big high pressure in place uh, protecting that jet stream dipping down, creating these storms. Here's the latest Euro though. You can see that, uh, juice here starts up on Tuesday night, Wednesday. So we can start to see Wednesday, heavy rains heading toward that Florida peninsula and, and definitely the Southeast coast. Uh, the Euro kind of develops a little bit, 1003, 1001. Uh, not going to lie. You know, that could technically possibly be maybe named. I don't know. 1001 isn't anything to get worried about. That's for sure. But, uh, as far as rains go, you can see heavy rains off to the south or the uh, the east and the north. <laughs> we, we're going to have a lot of wind shear coming in from the west, and that usually pushes all this moisture to the east side, north side. That's why we're seeing the low smack dab, let's say, in the middle of the Gulf, but we're seeing a lot of moisture pushing over to Florida and southeast because we're going to have winds pushing that water and helping prevent strong development. But could still be some sneaky storms. This is on Wednesday uh, here across a big part of Florida, all the way up to south, south the east coast as eventually it uh, turns and could bring some rain off to uh, the east coast. Uh, by Friday, it would be long gone, it looks like, at least for the ones that might get it first. Latest uh, Euro, that was. Latest GFS. Haven't been too fond of this model, but it's kind of doing the same thing. This is next Tuesday, next Wednesday. Kind of the same setup here, 1,006 millibar. Um, important to show that it's still thinking the same thing. A little bit of little bit of tropical spinach here, maybe forming, uh, affecting you know the southeast. Uh, latest uh, icon, which I really like. Uh, this model did really good the last several years. I've been a big fan of it. The 12Z is the longer run, and uh, you can see that front coming through. This is the next couple of days through the weekend, and then that little bit of energy hangs behind and voila that has a little bit more northern component to it um track on the icon is not that great but it is showing you know weak thousand millibar solidifying the fact that we might have a little bit of tropical spinach 
So there's your three biggies. Canadian, I'm not even going to show because it's been pretty um, pretty bad the last few years. The Europe, uh, European Ensembles here is a great tool. It kind of blends them all together. Kind of showing you the same thinking here, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Big general low pressure area over the southeast. This red means high pressure locked in. Um, we got another system coming down here that will eventually help turn this thing around this high pressure system. So the only difference we're seeing today than we didn't yet, saw yesterday, we saw some yesterday plopping it through the state and bringing it over the Atlantic. That high pressure system looks like it might block and kind of shove it a little north and then eventually northeast, but still too early to tell. Uh, another model here, not on Levi's side, it's a UK model and it's showing basically the same thing. These lighter colors is an indication of lowering, lowering pressures and this would be Wednesday next week. So definitely getting some some consistency the european uh, ensembles here which kind of show a blend of some of their models kind of show you the same thing there's starting to be more and more of them uh, eventually forming an eventual northeastern so that's that so the rainfall uh if you look at the euro estimates here this kind of gives you an idea of your five day rainfall where the flow is going to be you can kind of see that moisture really pump in there so if this you know if this verifies man there's a lot of state here this is through thursday morning uh, going into Friday, we can see, you know, four inches, heavy four inches, even for Alabama, Georgia, parts of uh, Mississippi, Louisiana. But this is the important part here. This, these are very dry areas. So the Euro is still on that path of a big, moist, uh, juicy system shoving uh, sheared rains and storms towards the peninsula and, of course, north if that's where it goes. So fingers crossed. For, I know a lot of folks are asking for rain. The Euro is excited about it still. Afternoon GFS again, it's all over the place, but it's got this whole general thinking of this flow here through Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. Um, so still at least there's hope that could be some rain out of this thing, right? Uh, why is this happening? This is your water uh, anomaly map. This is showing you how the water is four to five degrees above normal, uh, averaging three to four degrees above normal, five degrees across this loop current. Water temperatures are oh, 80, 81 degrees uh, across the Gulf. So that's definitely warm enough for this to kickstart anything um, going on. So that's about it. Uh, you know, no big changes. You know, I am seeing uh, this saw AccuWeather put out an article. I see uh, some local Mets talking about it. So definitely interesting to watch. You know, we get early season systems like this. And uh, the only big difference from yesterday was, like I was saying, high pressure building in a little stronger which is why it's been so hot here in florida going to drive this thing a little bit more north east it looks like um putting basically southeast in play so maybe not a lot of huge change just a little shift to the north and right now like i said nothing's official and there's nothing to stress about afternoon thunderstorms could be far worse sometimes so but it is uh worth talking about so we'll be doing our daily, daily live tomorrow it's friday and uh, we do that at 9 19 eastern i stream it live here on youtube along with Facebook and uh, Twitter. So hope to see you there. We'll, we'll see what the overnight models do. All right, have a great evening. Thanks for watching on YouTube. We had a lot of views yesterday. I'm trying to get the YouTube channel up. So whatever you got to do to make that happen for me, thanks. <laughs> see you.